Guess what? It's me, your counselor, River Wolfston. I am here to bring you a little spot of belonging. A story about being true to yourself and making friends. Written and illustrated by Diane Albert. If you like this book or any of the other books in her series, please go to her website, dianealbert.com, or go to Amazon or Amazon Kindle. Make sure you have an adult who can help you to find them and help you to purchase them if you like. All right, let's go ahead and get started. A little spot of belonging. Hi, I'm a little spot of belonging. Belonging is a feeling that you get when you have a great friend, when you're part of a group, or when you're part of a community that supports you. It's also a feeling of confidence and loving who you are. Every human on this planet wants to feel like they belong, and we all have the power to help each other feel that way. You might feel like you belong somewhere, a family, or a club, or a band, or a team, or a school. There are so many places where you can belong. When you belong, you feel valued and safe and calm and accepted. Those are amazing feelings. Did you know? You can help others feel like they belong too. You can do this by showing kindness. It's easy to show kindness. For example, you could ask somebody to play, invite somebody to a party, share your things, lend a hand when somebody needs help. I'm here to help everyone feel like they belong because when you feel like you don't belong, you can feel lonely and scared and angry not belonging is when you feel left out or excluded. This is the feeling you get when you think that other kids don't like you. That's why belonging needs to start with you first. It's important to like yourself, believe in yourself, and care for yourself. You're amazing. When you start to do that, making friends becomes a lot easier. I'm important, I'm kind, I am loving, I'm brave. For example, confidence can show you when you smile. Smiling can show someone that you are friendly. Now, if you pair a smile with introducing yourself, you'll be on your way to making friends in no time. I like to use, hi, my name is, for example, Hi, my name is Anna, or hi, my name's River. I'm your school counselor. Asking questions is another great way to show someone that you want to be their friend. When you ask questions, it gives you a chance to build a connection. You might even find something in common. I made this chart to give you some ideas of what to ask. And if you like, you can stop the video right now and you can write down some of these things or you can come back to this video any time that you want to. Conversations can be a little tricky sometimes because they require teamwork. Think of a conversation as like a game of catch. When the ball is tossed, ask a question like, what did you do this weekend? When the ball is caught, answer the question like, I went to the park. Now, toss the ball back and ask a question like, what did you do this weekend? When the ball gets caught, answer the question like, I went swimming. Let's practice. What's your favorite food? Wee! <laughs> I like pizza. <laughs> What's your favorite animal? <laughs> I like dogs. Oh, I like cats. Another essential part of belonging is making sure that everyone's included. 
So if you see someone standing alone nearby, ask them to join you. Including others can make things more fun. It's also a great way to make new friends. Sometimes you might want to belong so badly that when you see a friend making a bad choice, you might feel the need to join in too. Instead of joining in, you should say something to stop it. Having the courage to stand up for what's right is a better choice. Stop. You're not being nice. Okay, we're sorry. I know we covered a lot and there's still so much to learn. If we all practice being kind to ourselves and others, one day everyone in this world will feel like they belong. This has been River Wolfston and we've been reading a book about belonging. Make sure to stay tuned to our River's readings and um, we'll see you next time.